Hi, recently I bought TTGO's latest product, it is T-Display S3 and it arrived recently, it has 1.9 inch uh, 8-bit LCD and also it is an ESP32 board. First of all, this video is not sponsored, I bought the board with my own money and I bought it from here but uh, if you would like to buy it, I'd recommend you to buy it a little bit sooner because every day it gets expensive and I bought it for uh, 17 uh, euros. So if you think about buying one, well, I think you should hurry a little bit because each day I think it will be a little bit more expensive. So let's quickly see what's inside. And compared to the other boards, this one has a more compact footprint and actually it looks more pleasing to eye as it is and it has a USB-C connector which also I like and also you can connect your batteries here as well. Apart from that, it has two buttons and also one reset button here and in the box you will see it has a battery connector for connecting it to a lithium-ion battery and it has these connectors if you want to connect it to your board and solder it and everything aside I really like the form factor of this board and because it has a really nice screen on top of the board itself and you can easily design a case for 3d printer also there are i think a few available options that you can just buy and use it right away let's see if a sample firmware is installed yeah it is and it is trying to scan the wi-fi and trying to connect a Wi-Fi Xin Yuan Yan Z or something. Uh, that's probably the Wi-Fi where they use the firmware on. Mm, that's fine. At least we can be sure that the board is working. This board also has a decent pixel density, and it can make your project a little bit more realistic than just a hobby project. And maybe it would even look like something that is professional made. I really like the boards with the LCD, um, which has higher pixel density, like this one. And also, I appreciate the effort they gave to hide their pin headers here. So even if you solder them underneath here, uh, it won't be visible in front. And it is actually. A quite nice addition to details and the LCD is faster compared to the previous board because it is connected parallel so that the data can be sent quite faster than the previous board only thing which I didn't like is the logo is being displayed in the front I'll, it's not a big of a deal but actually I would prefer them if they want to put their logo on the back because uh, that way I can just use this board, let's say in the living room or something and no one actually would ask me what Liligo is and I wouldn't have to explain that is a development board and etc. It would look like something that I bought from the store or it can be actually look like something that I can be proud of rather than uh, making an advertisement to the Liligo board. But anyway, overall I really liked this board and in the future I want to make something, a small project out of it because well it looks like a very promising board and it would be such a waste to not use it. And one of the interesting applications that I can think of is a Game Boy device, Game Boy like device that you can bring it with yourself and also you can use it is battery charging interface by connecting a battery, lithium-ion battery on it and it will charge the battery with the lithium-ion battery charging circuit and you can bring it yourself and maybe use a controller or something and it might be a neat application
What I did with the board is I attached a battery and also a magnet underneath it and just I wanted to make something like a fridge magnet and after you start it it will show the logo and then it will scan for the Wi-Fi's in the area and then it will connect the Wi-Fi that you described in the sketch and it will show the time it is like a flip clock which was in the factory firmware so it is more or less the same firmware and after connecting the Wi-Fi it will get the local timing from the internet so you need to change the time zone in the sketch if you are living in another area than I think it looks nice on the fridge so right now this is the application that I came up with I'm not sure how long it is gonna work because well ESP32 boards are not famous for their battery usage because they suck the battery quite fast but anyway here it is and it looks nice so I will keep it there and let you know how long it worked for the summary what can I say about this board is if you like the previous ESP32 board with the LCD from Lilygo I think you would also like this one and even better because ESP32 S3 board is a little bit faster than the previous generation and also has more capabilities and also LCD is like a little bit more denser than the previous one so it is also looking nice another big benefit I would say is just being able to use it on the areas like this one and it will look nice you won't see the uh, pin headers it is hidden underneath the PCB so overall it's a decent board and I think I liked it so thanks for watching and see you next time